Hey everybody, I'm making one of the best recipes I've ever had for pimento and cheese, and I just wanna show you how easy it comes together. You're going to need a box grater because the recipe specifies that you have some on the big side for bigger pieces, and then you use the smaller side where you'll have two different sizes and textures of cheese. So we've done that, and we also have eight ounces of sharp and eight ounces of extra sharp. So I've done that and I'll put it in the bowl. And this is a My Recipes. I'll um, give them credit and link to it. A cup and a half of mayonnaise and I'm using Duke's because I think that's the closest thing to homemade. Then we've got the Worcestershire and then a tablespoon of onion and then little red pepper and then a jar of pimentos. Okay, and I'm gonna mix this up and I'm going to tell you all the best way ever to serve this. We were at a block party last week and a friend brought this pimento and cheese, this exact recipe, and her husband had grilled Kaneka sausage. You could also put it in a skillet and then he put a little barbecue sauce on it, served that Kaneka sausage in little bite-sized pieces with this pimento and cheese with salting crackers. It was the appetizer of the whole party. Highly recommend this recipe. Highly recommend serving it with Kaneka sausage and saltines. And thanks for stopping by and y'all have a fabulous day.